welcome back. Today is a big, big day for us. This year, camping wise, has been a little bit tough for us with the truck basically, um, well, not basically, going in the shop in April. And now it's getting towards the middle end of June and we still don't have it back. So we haven't went camping yet, but we have big changes coming. Now, luckily for us, my dad has an extra truck that he's letting us borrow because today we are gonna go buy a new trailer. We have some differences though on what we want in a trailer. Or well, not what we want, um, preferences I guess. Big and massive. Yeah, I, I want the biggest toy hauler and a mini Pete to tow it. And <laughs> if I could have a 40 foot Alliance in my driveway right now, that would be sweet. And me, tiny and teardrop. Something a little more manageable. <laughs> yeah. Something that can actually go into a camp stall. I don't have to worry about trees or slides or encroaching in someone else's space and actually being able to go to state parks and national parks and get around. One thing we've found with our fifth wheel is it's been great. Oh, I mean, we, yeah. we love our fifth wheel. Love That's it. why we aren't getting rid of it, but we can only go certain places with it. And it's a pavement princess. Yeah. So if we're looking to go glamping, that's the way we're going to go. But to actually get off the grid and out in the country a little bit more, um, overland a little bit maybe, we're gonna go with a off-road capable mm -hmm. trailer. And as we looked at these different trailers, we wanted something that was independently made. It, there's nothing, we don't have anything against Thor or Forest River, which they own everything. We thought we'd try to go with something that's made by an independent company that I think they stand behind their products more. We also like to support local so if that tells you anything right now. <laughs> well, you're kind of giving it away there. I am. So we have chosen to go with Bean. We yeah. are so satisfied with their <laughs> product. We can't tell you how happy we are to go with them and just how phenomenal their product is and to see how it's made. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. It was a, <clears throat> about a month ago we decided, all right, we're going to do this um because we'd thought about other options whatever and after going through touring their facility like we did back in january or february whenever and meeting the owners and really looking over the trailers i i feel they're they may be the best trailer on their own so when we called back in may to see what they had they said hey we have a stock unit which means we built one for somebody and then they backed out of it so we have a meaner bean that we can have ready in 30 days for you and we said, let's do it. Let's get it done. So we are on our way up to pick up our new meaner bean. And by the way, I am sounding a little rough. I haven't taken up smoking. <laughs> I'm getting over uh, this weird cold and this is what it gave me. We are truly excited to be getting this bean. Once we kind of rip that band-aid off, we've been thinking about it really non-stop for a month now now typically they have a 60 day lead time to time you place the order to picking up your trailer but luckily for us they had this one in stock and every once in a while this sort of thing happens so if you're interested in a bean call them and you might be able to get into a situation like us yes and and we were lucky enough that we caught it early um yeah I mean, in the build process yeah. that we were still able to add on a few little amenities uh, that we'll go through, obviously. Once we get up there. Yeah. Or at least I hope we ordered them right. <laughs> um, that we were able to add on so we weren't completely stuck with a stock-based model. Sahara perfect. Guys, we are ready to go. We are tied on. We are heading out this weekend in like two days. We are so excited to get our bean out there and just get some camping going on. We went with the meaner bean and Jesse will give you a little more details on what makes it mean. Er. Er. Meaner. A few months ago we came and we toured the mean bean, the meaner bean, the black bean, all that stuff. We decided to go with the meaner bean. Um, we were really thinking the mean bean, but we went meaner because it was in stock. This is one of their stock units, so it only took 30 days to get it. Typically, I think they have a 60 day lead time, but they got this ready for us in 
30 days, which was awesome. Um, right up front here, we have the nice big cargo box. You can get it with a tray. We opted for the cargo box. Tons of storage in here. Right up front, we have something that I'm gonna have to take a whole nother video to look at. It's the Max Coupler Hitch. The Max Coupler Hitch is an off-road style hitch that gives you so much more articulation. I wanna say it's 180 degrees. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it tows. Everything I've been told by the people here at Bean is they're amazing. So hopefully, um, right up front, we have two small propane tanks and we have two small ones because not only do we have a water heater on here, we also got the furnace. We're so used to the comforts of our fifth wheel that there was a few things we had to put in this. I know most people, when they go with these little teardrops, they want as minimal as possible, and I get that. But for us, this was going minimal. So let's just keep on walking around and I'll show you everything we have here. And of course, whenever you buy a trailer, you get handfuls of keys. I'm gonna look into RV lock and see what I can do that way. Try to get down to one set of keys. So right here, just have this little push button. We have all of our storage in here. Tons for, for a trailer this size to have this option. And you could put a bike rack up on top of here. So many things, um, solar panels, all sorts of stuff. And it shuts so nice and easy. That's just, it. it's crazy. You can feel how well made everything is with these. And that's one of those reasons we wanted to go with an independent manufacturer is because of the, the quality that you feel with all their components, just in the way their door shut and latch. It just, you can feel the difference. All right, coming down the side here, one thing that Bean does is they do a wider door with this nice little porthole window in it. A lot of teardrop trailers just have a much narrower door and this gives you so much more access. And if you watched our other videos, awesome latch. These are off ambulances and just such a good quality latch. Of course you have your screen door so you can get tons of airflow into here. We have our max fan up top. We opted not to go with the air conditioner because we didn't know if we would have a generator with us all the time and all those sort of things. And didn't know if we'd really need it. I think the max fan is going to be enough on this small of a trailer to move the air well enough. All right, coming down the side, full size spare tire and the fenders you can actually stand on. So I can get up on here and have access to everything up here on the roof which I might as well show you the roof. We didn't have the cash right now to put on the full roof rack and all that stuff. And we're still deciding which way we want to go with that, but we did put on the mounts for it. So it's good to go when we make that decision. Then right here, you can see the max air fan. Other than that, this is all one piece fiberglass. So we aren't going to have any leaking, any water intrusion, any of those sort of things. And that's one of the great things with this fiberglass is we aren't worried about it leaking. Then, down here with the meaner bean, you actually get independent suspension. I believe this is timberin. I could be wrong. That's just off the top of my head. But we have full independent sus suspension for each side. So when you go off road, it's way more capable. It's going to be way more stable. It's just a really nice setup. And here we go. Nice heavy door, great struts on it. You can just feel the quality. Now we went with, I believe it's called the premium plus galley. It's basically their nicest galley. We get a stainless steel countertop, pass-through storage here with all bean trailers, so you can get your Oreos in the middle of the night from the inside or the outside. So you're watching your movie, pull your Oreos in. Magnetic drawer slides and stops, so everything stays together. So you just push in a little bit, you can hear that. Then you just push in as you shut, and close. All of the light controls right here, you can change the coloring of the lighting um, right now it's set on kind of an amber color because I guess that keeps the bugs away better and we don't like bugs So that's a good thing for us We got the sink with it. So we do have an 18 gallon fresh water tank with our sink here Down underneath the sink. We have our heater shower port hoses for all that um, The propane lines for our grill, which I can show you right now Right over here Just Press this flat on this little black one and this just lifts up and locks into place. I love how it clicks and you can feel that positive latch. Then just open it up. And we have our two burner cooktop. 
perfect for cooking breakfast, all that sort of stuff. And then it folds up out of the way so nice. It's just great how everything just works together so well. Over the past few months, Kara and I have toured a lot of teardrop trailers when we've been out kicking tires on other at other places. And we just haven't seen one built to this quality. I know there was a lot that were way, 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 way cheaper, but we'd rather spend more and get this than spend 10 grand and have one that's gonna fall apart. So, all right. Then right here, you have your two latches there and it just drops down back in. <clears throat> then, I know a lot of people would just go with a regular cooler here, but we went with the actual Nor Norkel refrigerated cooler. So it's set at 32 degrees right now. Oh, didn't pull that out of the way, there we go. You can actually see the ice building up. So you could keep your ice cream in here, all sorts of stuff. Um, just great. If you want to remove this, you can, and we could throw it in the truck and keep, you know, things cold in the truck or whatever, but, and all of this stuff runs off of our battery. It's all 12 volt, basically. Now we can hook up to shore power and, and get regular power, but everything in this trailer basically is running off of our battery. Coming on over to the side here, we have um, kind of our exterior controls. Right here, we have our shore power plug. You just regular extension cord plug in. Then we have our spray port plug in here, which we hook our spray port to our shower. And right here, we have our exterior shower. Now, I know a lot of people, yet again, on their, you know, overland ready, minimal style trailers aren't gonna want this, but for us, this is roughing it. So after I go for a run or we're out hiking or whatever, we can at least rinse off. Cause we have an 18 gallon water tank. We can always haul more water and put, put in pretty easily. Down here, we have the ports for the propane. Some quick changes here. There's also quick changes on the other side. So you can hook in your fire pit or your other grill or whatever as you go around. Right here, this is how your gray tank drains. Well, not gray tank, gray water, because there is no gray tank. You just hook a small hose off or down into a bucket and you drain your sink right through there. Almost forgot, Kara just pointed out. You have a 200 pound capability receiver hitch in the back here. That way you can put on your bike rack or whatever else. I know most people put their bike racks up on top or up front because you can't open your galley if your bike rack's here. You can even put a small storage rack this isn't meant to tow with, but it's a good, strong, capable cargo carrying hitch or receiver hitch. Coming around the side here in the cargo box, this is where the battery is. Down here, we have our Lion Energy Safari 1300. This is one that we had in our trailer and you know we're fans of Lion Energy. This is the battery they would have installed, but we already had one, so we threw one of ours in no reason to buy another one when we already had one. And remember, if you want to save 15% off any purchase from Lion Energy, just use our code down below. It's John Junkies. And you can save 15% and on a expensive battery, that's a lot of money. So right down here, we have all of our electrical wiring, all that sort of stuff. On the outside, we actually have our Victron Energy battery monitor. So I can monitor how much charge we have, all that sort of stuff, just right on the outside and control it all right here. Pretty dang cool. And so when the trailer's all shut off, this is the only thing drawing power. And I just have to unplug this little plug here and then nothing's drawing power. So the battery stays charged the whole time. And yet again, awesome latches. Right up here, it's already pre-wired to hook up our solar. So we can do all of our solar charging right there with our, yet again, Lion Energy solar panels. I'm actually wondering about if they will fit up here. This would be an awesome place to have a solar panel. I mean, it's just sitting there all the time, so it might as well be used for something. I know a lot of people do bike racks and things like that right up here. It would also be cool to put another rack on top of this to carry a grill or firewood or something like that. I don't know if it's heavy duty enough to carry a whole bunch, but I'm sure you could do something. But overall, just super excited for this whole dang thing. There's so many more places we're gonna be able to go and things that we're gonna be able to do that we weren't in the fifth wheel. Now, we still have the fifth wheel for, you know, those other trips, the, the more glamping trips, 
but this is gonna be way more of a camping experience. Now let's have Kara give you the dime tour of the interior and show what's in there. Jumping right in. Right now we have this in the couch configuration, which is nice because we can set up our table that stores right here in the floor. And it has a little bit of storage with it as well. Of course, table leg, a few little things like that. So if the weather is bad, we can still get in here, sit comfortably, have a table, play some cards, still enjoy our inside and not have to be outside all the time. Uh, couch configuration also drops down to a queen size mattress. With this queen size mattress, we're not lacking any space on the inside. We're not fighting for sleeping room. It's going to be really cozy and comfortable on this mattress as well. And do you want to show them how tall it is? Because these have more height than most. Yeah, so most of these have quite a bit of height. I mean, I'm sitting right now, um, but if I went down on my knees, I still have so much space. So if you're dressing, putting a shirt on, I mean, if I needed to put some jeans on, I've got a little bit of space here. And I dare say, Jesse's gonna be maybe a little bit up here, <laughs> putting on some clothes, but there's still extra space that he can do that comfortably as well. Behind me, we mentioned our pass-through kitchen. Uh, these bins have super nice latching. Put your finger in there, pull the little button, so you know it's not gonna fly open. Each door has these. We have these bins. They are customizable shelving in here, so if we don't like the configuration, we can change it if need be. Also below, we've got these drawers. They are a push open and then a push shut. So they're not going anywhere either. They run the full length of the trailer. Uh, not only that, but you have some upper storage as well. It kind of just finishes off that round part but gives you some nice, fairly decent, I mean, I'm that far back, storage up there. Not only on this side, but you also have an upper one on this other side as well. And I'm filling up in here some rubber, like rubber flooring. So if you put something up here, it's not gonna like roll around, slide around. It's got a nice rubber grip to it. So other things in this trailer are really convenient little cubbies here. You can, for keys, hanging things, a hat, whatever need be. Um, also a cup holder. Hello, a cup holder. That's kind of handy. Um, also our Max Air remote. So we can turn that on up above us, get some airflow going. Other than that, you've got our power on each side. So you both have a power switch as well as a pop light right there. Uh, USB, so for charging your phone, so convenient right there for you as well. Of course, other things above head are safety amenities, fire extinguisher, things like that, that you need always, of course. Uh, what else? Oh, our heater. Let me show you our little heater. All right, so right here we've got our furnace system, our control, change the temperature, the on-off there, fuse box, more USB, um, a regular power outlet. More little features in here are there are D-rings on the floor, so if you did want to tie something down, secure, you can do that. I don't know, toys, spikes, whatever may be. Um, this is a really cozy interior. I'm looking at this wall right here, and uh, I have a feeling it's going to be our projection screen. I know we're trying to go minimal, but sometimes you just like to catch a movie or watch something at night. Not only that, but it is, has a little touch of padding to it. So if you are laying in bed, you can just sit back, read your book, phone, and you've got this really nice backing to sit against. Pretty excited, Jess. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. Pretty darn excited. Now all we need is our custom sheets from Mattress Insider. <laughs> well, I, I think we're both really excited. This is his excited face, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, it, it's gonna be fun. It's it's gonna be a different experience. It really will. Yeah, and I, I hope you guys like, you know, seeing some more content on this sort of stuff. We still have our fifth wheel, but we're gonna do both. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Comment below, what do you think of the bean? And 
would you go with a smaller trailer or would you go with a bigger, you know, fifth wheel, motorhome, that sort of stuff? Yeah, thank you guys for catching us today. We truly appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. We do have a few little added, added things we're kind of in the works with, but uh, um, yeah, we're super excited. Especially this weekend, we are taking it out on its maiden voyage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then so... we'll get a true fill of uh, that smaller, <laughs> minimal-ish experience. Yeah. As most of you know, backing up a small trailer is way harder than backing up a big trailer. It took me like three shots with this thing. And it's still not straight. Nope.